Hi, this is Heather Cole with Lodestar Solutions, and today we're going to talk about accurate rolling forecasts by leveraging TM1 and SPSS statistics. So first off, I want to make sure everyone understands what a rolling forecast is. So many of you are familiar with a budget cycle. A budget is a plan that is approved once a year. It's very static in nature, whereas a rolling forecast is constantly changing and being updated with new information, both actuals as well as what's going to happen with the forecast. So it's a lot like your weather forecast. If you think about our weather, they don't say this month, here's the weather, and they give us a, uh, the weather forecast for the whole month. Um, and they also don't do it annually and say, hey, here's what the weather is going to be for 2015. Instead, what they do is they give us a five-day outlook, right? And it constantly is updating. Even every hour, they update those forecasts. So our rolling forecast is much like that in that we should be constantly updating it with new things, whether we get new customers, we enter new areas of business, or maybe we do an acquisition. So it's constantly being updated. So when we look at the time frames for a rolling forecast, what's different than a traditional forecast, which is commonly updated quarterly, is that a rolling forecast not only is updated every month, but continuously rolls forward. So it doesn't have that stop point at the annual uh, end of year date, maybe December 31st, but rather is constantly adding. So if you're doing an 18 month rolling, you're constantly dropping off a month and adding a month on the end. The problem with forecasts is that oftentimes they are not accurate. So what it's really a cultural change that we need to look at to make sure that forecasts are being accurate. What happens is that uh, we really have to get honest with ourselves and eliminate the sandbagging, which is salespeople, for example, saying that they can only do a million dollars in sales. Uh, when they really know that they're going to do two million because that's going to affect the whole organization such as resources to support that sale maybe inventory to support that sale so we really need accurate numbers we also get people that are overly optimistic and that can affect us in a negative way as well so we really need to have a cultural change to accuracy for our forecasts we can do this by leveraging some of the Cognos BI tools to be able to see how accurate we were in our forecast in comparison to actuals. So we may actually want to get to the point where we're monitoring that accuracy and rewarding those people that are very accurate in their forecasts. What typically happens is that management sets the tone, right? So if we're off on the budget or even on the forecast, it's like, who screwed up, right? Why, why didn't we anticipate this? And we want to move to the point where we are looking at more, okay, clearly we things have changed. What are the drivers that changed? What's the business impact? But taking that even a step further, what we can do is increase our accuracy by leveraging SPSS from Cognos. So what it can do is we can take the information, our forecast that our team makes out of TM1, push it into, and it's integrated with Fixed Pack 22 uh, of SPSS, so that now we can put algorithms and um, numeric formulas on this so that it can increase the accuracy and probability of something that will happen, so using statistical modeling. So as we know, just to review, TM1 is the read-write capabilities of budgeting planning. We can do what-if scenarios. Uh, we have our built-in data, our metadata layers, and so forth. But now we can integrate that with SPSS. So the idea is that it could become even more powerful using these advanced forecasting techniques that can account for seasonality, seasonality and external factors. How do we do this? Well, now with the latest releases, SPSS and TM1 are integrated. And SPSS stats is a comprehensive, easy to use set of data and predictive analytics tools for business users and statistical analysis. So it allows us to quickly understand large and complex data sets and using these advanced algorithms. The result is a much higher accuracy. 
a deeper level of insight and better confidence in the numbers, which is exactly what your organization needs. The integration of SPSS Modeler and BI can also be leveraged, so you can actually feed that information to our BI reporting. So first off, what happens is TM1 collects and, the, and centralizes the data, right? So we go ask people to put in what they think they're going to do, we get a pulse of them, and then this data is fed to the IBM SPSS stati statistics tool, and we use modeling and scenarios. We then take that information and this analysis can be sent back to Cognos TM1 as a baseline for the forecast and a collaborative solution. So we're feeding that much more accurate information back to TM1, which can then be distributed out to people to say, hey, here's what the models are showing us. And they can agree with them or they can say, well, I think they're a little off because this big change has happened in our industry. So here's a little bit of an example. We take the data, we bring the data into uh, TM1, uh, and then it goes into our SPSS. And the idea here is to really get that predicted line. So the variance levels and the outliers are minimized. So what do TM1 customers get from SPSS statistics? It's uh, a statistical approach. So much more powerful data-driven insight that we just can't filter through the volume of data that these tools can if we did it manually. Consistent and repeatability for better guidance. And of course, utilizing advanced mathematical models that again, if we were to do this manually, would be extremely time-consuming. Uh, time the results will be improved efficiency and recommendations on key variables and KPIs so that we can really focus our organization in the direction we want it to go and, and giving them information rapidly. It decreases the time to results because it's a direct import and export um, functionality with TM1 and statistics and it eliminates the need to convert flat files and so forth. So really trying to improve the integration and ease of use is what IBM has been doing in a great way. So here's an example, uh, an organization called Post in Australia has been utilizing this and they have fully integrated their actuals and forecasting monthly cash position for four years. So for those of you that aren't on the finance side, forecasting cash is extremely important because cash is the blood source of your organization. It's the lifeline. It Without the cash, we really restrict what we can do. So you want to make sure we manage that cash position very effectively. And as a result, they were able to really manage their cash flow here. Another organization is a clothing manufacturer and the ability to look four months into the future and know what our inventory levels need to be on a weekly basis is absolutely key to our success. So for anybody in retail or anybody even in manufacturing, this can be very essential. So a side-by-side -side comparative. TM1 is an enterprise platform that can do our forecasting and planning cycles. We can set targets and budget, and we have scorecarding capabilities now in the latest versions of TM1. This can be on-premises or in the cloud, and also can be extended to mobile devices. Statistics is the predictive analytic platform that we can leverage the, the data as well as mathemat mathematical algorithms. So it really refines our information and helps us identify outliers and opportunities. So the marriage between stats and TM1 can be extremely powerful and really take your accuracy of your forecast to the next level. So here are some questions to ask. First off, are you using TM1 in your organization? Um, do you have a need to increase accuracy on your forecast? Candidly, I don't know an organization do that doesn't need more accurate forecasts, but you know, ask the question, would it be beneficial if you could leverage all your data for forecasting? Would it be better forecasting uh, to be based on predictions using uncovered patterns in your data? So there are always trends in the data and the data tells you the story. Are you challenged by uncovering that story? Because statistics can help you do that. 
Are you confident in the variables or KPIs you are using to base your decisions on? You know, some people use KPIs that they've had forever and they're not no longer accurate. And then would you like to learn about the value of integrating performance management and a predictive analytic solutions? Start asking these questions inside your organization. Go to finance, ask them how accurate it is. If you're in finance, go to IT and say, how much data do we have? Could we leverage it better? Needless to say, we don't typically see all the data being pulled into TM1, so this is an opportunity to pull all that big data into statistics, but then leverage the appropriate pieces within TM1. So if you want to learn more about IBM's SPSS statistics, you can go to YouTube, and IBM has a, a real short video um, that you can watch. There's a lot of videos out on YouTube um, that gives you an overview of this tool. So this is the the path to it. It might be easier just to go to YouTube and do a search for IBM SPSS statistical overview. That's the exact name of it, but you might want to check that out. If you want more information on how you can integrate TM1 or SPSS statistics, please feel free to contact us. You can contact me directly at hcole at lodestarsolutions.com. If you're on Twitter, you can also follow me at Heather Eyes, or our organization has a Twitter uh, feed also that is lodestar underscore SOL. We are constantly updating our YouTube channel. You probably found this video on YouTube and we get those ideas from you. So if you have ideas on what you want to see, share them with us. We hope to see you soon at some of our additional videos and we hope you found this informative. Thanks and have a great day.